I think we just have a lot of thoughts and a lot of points. A lot of them I didn't even get to. Oh, I didn't either. Um, I I wanted to get into a lot more detail with my points. I had one that says uh, jokes in the movies don't land. I thought you were going to bring up the jokes and the dialogue. Oh, no. I, this... um, and I put, uh, to counteract that point, I said, neither do yours. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Welcome back to the Wacky Wonderful Wise Works podcast. Are you girls geeks? <laughs> All right, if you're going to jump he in. Tried. He <laughs> I tried. I tried. I tried. He gave it a go. <laughs> the best part of watching the third Pirates movie is solely, solely Davy Jones. That's it. Just Davy Jones. I want I'll only want Davy Jones. No oh, gosh. I feel I, I feel my mustache quivering. <laughs> Dude, I can't take it. Welcome back everybody to the wacky and wonderful wise works podcast thought you forgot it for i was about to say magical mandatory oh yeah. i was really close <laughs> yes sir yes sir it feels like we haven't podcasted forever it's just been a week i know it, it, doesn't, it, doesn't it feel it, like it a feels long like time? a while are you out of practice now <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm the best all right, all right. no one's gonna I'm ever keep me down. down the best all right. i mean <laughs> We, we just uh, all like start yeah. jamming. Woo! Um, no, I'm. We're still recording stuff. We're we doing a little bit on our studio channel. Go check yeah. that out. Um, just you not guys podcasting. Just reflect on the studio channel. Yeah. Just talk about it for a second. It's. I have not seen this growth yet. Yeah. Uh-huh. I haven't. I was None reflecting a little bit this week. Uh, coming up is going to be 200th episode. Yes. Soon. Uh, I went back to season one. Was watching a little bit of season one. Mm. <laughs> that that first episode goofy. was <laughs> was not a podcast. No, it was a giveaway. And, <laughs> it was a giveaway. <laughs> and you know what I realized? What? We never did the giveaway. We never did it because nobody responded. Wait, what to was it. the get? What were you giving away? We were giving away a couple DVD copies of um, Dying, Dying of the Leaves. Oh, well, and nobody I responded. Entered. Well, nobody responded to our our call out. I would I would have but entered, but I already have a copy. If we're <laughs> being honest, <laughs> we we didn't have the audience in place to, to do, do a, giveaway. a giveaway. Yeah, at the time, yeah. So we uh, it was just kind of us introducing, I guess, the thing, and then trying to do a giveaway that didn't work. Maybe when we hit a thousand subscribers, <laughs> we'll do a we'll do a giveaway. Yeah, maybe we'll ask. Do a re, maybe we'll ask Sarah to make us some stickers for a giveaway. Oh yeah, wouldn't that be super? We cool? can do a, mm-hmm. well. We could do a live stream mm-hmm. and do like a live giveaway of all kinds of stuff. We have, I think, a couple hundred copies of Dying of the Leaf still. Really? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. in my closet. I mean, a few. Yeah. I, I you can go watch it on YouTube. But <laughs> but if you want, you got bonus look, material. The the bonus material and the j- having having the DVD copy the. The case in the artwork is so nice, mm-hmm. you know. And on the back, you have the the mm-hmm. you have the poem yes. on there. Yeah. Well, we have the whole description. We actually, me and Joshua, did a full film commentary. Yeah. On the DVD copy. Oh yeah, that Remember? never got released. That never. Well, well we it, never released it, it online. Yeah, that you can only get it on the DVD. Yeah. And there's oh, there's some behind the scenes stuff that we ended up do releasing online, but. You know, it's still a DVD copy. It's mm-hmm. the hard thing. It's the artwork. It's an enjoyable yeah. piece, but you know, only I think we only sold like thirty something copies of it. That's pretty good, though. It's pretty good for having basically no audience mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah. doing that. So that was cool, but um, that money got spent real quick, <laughs> right? <laughs> on other stuff. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, but reflect on the studio channel for a second. Are you guys proud of yourself? We've come. We've hit something that actually seems to work right now. You keep saying like, "Congratulations, guys!" Like looking at us. Congratulations, congratulations! Because you've already hit videos that have over a thousand views. I'm right? saying you're up, there's you're up here looking down on. I'm us. not looking down on anybody. <laughs> you're We're like, in wow, this together. You guys finally. I'm just wow. saying. Well, no. Shouldn't you be recognized when you've created something? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, that has I'm just a few thousand. Up, We're bi- I'm yanking I, the chain. <laughs> well, I feel yanked. Um, but I think it's boink, pretty cool. Boink. We've been doing online video for like consistently for over two years. 
Mm. Or two and a half years. The beginning of 2019. Yeah, the beginning of 2019. So oh. we're we're finally hitting something where we're attracting audiences that aren't people we know. Yeah, that's really cool. It's really cool. I'm, I'm excited. I, I'd say I like the interaction in the comments mm -hmm. on the on the studio channel. Yeah. Turns that's out all fun. you people who listen to the podcast, <laughs> we're thankful, but you guys don't interact with us. Yeah, the comments. no interaction. You just got to find people that I don't mean, know you and they're willing to comment. <laughs> Never mind. What? I was going to say, I mean, at least throw a comment up there. This guy with the tie. His ears. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, the dang tie in the ears. Which actually, yeah, I guess that was the first. It's not really bullying. I guess that means we've made it, right? Yeah. Well, when yes. you get a negative comment, when you get a, a when negative you know or a, a comment that making fun of your appearance, yeah. appearance, then yeah. Yeah. Well, we've made it, Ma. <laughs> we've made it. Just we be made aware. <laughs> yeah. We've made it. Yeah. So it's gonna be harder to get a hold of me. You know. I don't take all your all the calls anymore. Yeah, he's wearing a tie <laughs> and a collared shirt now. Like guys. every day, mm. as soon as like he had one video that hit two thousand <laughs> two thousand views, he's like, he barely, now I'm a I'm like, a tie he, guy. He it's barely talks three. to me anymore. <laughs> he just comes in the house and be and is like, when are we recording? Okay, I'll see you then. <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk to my agent. <laughs> I'm oh yeah, by the way, uh, have, you, have you got a part? Uh, no, oh, <laughs> it was. I was joking, but uh, <laughs> I wanted to open though. Yeah, let's talk a, briefly about Coffee. our predictions and our thoughts regarding the new Jurassic Park film that's in the works. Mm -hmm. That's not being released. It's called Dominion, mm -hmm. Jurassic Park Dominion. I think there is a teaser going on in theaters right now about. Um, what people just talking about it? I think they were advertising. If you watch the Fast, Fast and Furious Nine, you saw a little intro or teaser for it. But we've seen a lot of Jurassic Park films. Mm -hmm. First one's beloved. Mm -hmm. What do we think about the latest two that they've made, and then Are go you continuing about Park or World? Well, we they are on the same universe, so yeah. just this franchise, World, both. <laughs> Well, this is this is a part world. of the world franchise, okay. but they're they're all in the same universe. So, what do we think of this? Because uh, they're not they're not Steven Spielberg films anymore. No, I I'll say I'll say that the 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 first Jurassic World movie um, was was fun and introduced yeah. you know new characters and a new world and everything, um, and it it set up something that could have been really good, mm -hmm. but the second one they didn't have J.J. Abrams do it. Yeah, it didn't. The second one didn't <laughs> that deliver. Was the reason <laughs> what they, it was very much it was very Star Warsy. The first yeah, one, I was gonna. The agree first with one it. was, was people that. were like, okay, I can get behind this. The yeah. second one was like, that was just not good. It felt kind of like the Stranger Things thriller, but with a. So you dinosaur. think you think the second the one, did. third one's going to be like? See, I was I was hoping that the second one would be more scary, mm. more um, horror thriller. I've only seen yeah. the second one one and a half times. I seen the mm -hmm. first world like probably seven, <laughs> like eight <laughs> times. Yeah, yeah, like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see people in like American wilderness in the woods. Trying to escape velociraptors and oh, T-Rexes yeah. and stuff. See, your biggest fear is velociraptors. It's one of them, yeah. <laughs> it's one of the few things I actually have nightmares about. Okay. So <laughs> how, what do you think about with the world creating velociraptors as essentially friends? Mm. They're not, they're allies. Oh, yeah. They're no longer the, the predator. What do you think about that? Because now the thing that found the most thrilling well the most thrilling aspect of the universe mm -hmm. has now been taken from you it's kind of like a, a movie we watched recently the adventure of the unicorn and uh <laughs> we talked about this already on the mm -hmm. podcast it yeah it t it takes the it takes the the thrill out of mm -hmm. out of it now when when in the first movie when the big um uh, indominus rex you yeah. know, starts talking to the Velociraptors and they turn around and start attacking people. I was like, okay, we're back. That's kind of, that's cool. That's nice. Yeah. Um, and then they 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 kept saying that the second movie because the director was 
filmed, you know, a lot of horror thriller stuff. Mm -hmm. And they kept saying, like, oh, it's going to be, you know, way scarier and stuff. And like then, the original dress. Yeah, Park. and then we didn't get any scary stuff till the very end, and even then it wasn't great. I, I want to say this, though. I'll look at trilogy movies back in the mm -hmm. 90s, back in the 80s, back in the whatever. Mm-hmm. When you think of scary, thrilling movies or, like, what we think of as, like, trilogy movies. Okay, we've got your, like, your Halloween movies. Mm -hmm. We got your, um, it's not really mm -hmm. scary, but, like, things like Blade. Okay. Things like, okay. maybe even, like, Die Hard or, like, um, Rambo, things like that. The first one was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then they take it in a different direction, and everybody kind of, they fall off because they're like, oh, it's not like the first one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. what could they do with it besides kind of well, add on to it? See, even the second Jurassic Park movie had some of the... Wasn't the some, second one where they the T-Rex gets loose in the city? Yeah. It, yeah. That one mm -hmm. even had some of the heart that the first one had. Okay. Right? It had some of the, the scariness, the, the thrills, the... You know the T Rex is um, uh, t uh, attacking, like the T Rex going through the waterfall. Mm -hmm. Remember that scene? Mm -hmm. Or the Velociraptors in the in the grass? That was really cool. I mean, it had some of that, and and then I think the third one lost a lot of that charm. I thought the third one was the Velociraptors in the grass. No, that's the second one. Okay. Um, but the third one was like we're getting back to the park mm -hmm. and it was an adventure survival story in the park yeah mm -hmm. which is what the original Jurassic Park was and then it seemed like it seemed like Jurassic World was that again yeah and then the, in the, the last park. one was back back like bringing a, like escaping the park and getting into yeah. everyday life well See, because I was, we were, we were, we were going through movies, and we saw Westworld, the original movie, yeah, and we yeah. watched the trailer for that. And I was talking to Josh about oh, it, yeah, um, and and explaining how Westworld, the original movie and screenplay, is what inspired the book Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the the theme park that turns against you. Yes. Um. And and Crichton has always done really good with that sort of um eerie eerie thriller type thing mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. you know you, you're you're comfortable with something and then it changes and it becomes scary what yes. would you think if they announced Shyamalan M. Night oh, Shyamalan I, was gonna do this I'd movie so I'd be like yeah I'd be so upset you'd be like yeah you'd be so upset why I like Shyamalan, Shyamalan, Shyamalan. Well, he's too busy yeah. making his film old that just Night came out. Shyamalan. But he's finished with that. Yeah. Um, but they've been making this, so does he have the capabilities of doing two movies we, at the same time? His stuff is either really good or really bad. <laughs> he just does nothing in between. And so we're like, okay, what is this going to be, bad or good? I don't know. I would say Glass was middle ground. After after Unbreakable well, and Split being really good, I felt Glass like Glass was, was middle ground. So I underwhelming. I but it was it wasn't terrible. It was it middle was, ground. I didn't. It like felt it. middle ground. I didn't me. like it. Okay. So in Wise opinion, Glass was the far end of bad. Yeah. Um. Not like the far end, but like if there's a spectrum, if you know, good is here and or if bad is. <laughs> I mean, good the, is here and bad is here. It was like. It was right closer, on the edge of bad. Yeah. The, okay. the real question is, Bruce Willis is in it. Hair? No hair. With no hair. No obviously. hair. Bad movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce, hair, with, no Bruce hair. with no hair, bad movie. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It just equates. He doesn't have a career anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you should get some, like, like a, can you see Bruce Willis in a giant beard? No. Is he? All right. Well, uh, uh, actually, that would be a cool look. Mm -hmm. That'd be a really Bruce cool Bruce Willis look. in Jurassic World. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic World directed by Shamilian <laughs> Dominion do you think it's going to be since they followed a similar format for the first two worlds as the original two parks do you think it's going to be another just survive the park going to the park when you're not supposed to kind of situation no, no it, it, because, because of how they left it off in the other movie 
You remember how they left how'd it they, How did the other one end? It, they were at the mansion. Yeah, and they released that, all the dinosaurs. Yeah, it got re- the dinosaurs got released. Okay, so Dominion's going to be... That's um, why it's world. Yeah. Not park. So it's going to be like hunting down these animals uh, before they breed or whatever. So yeah, it's going to be like the third one, but on a bigger scale. The whole world as opposed to the, the island. Yeah. So how- it's going to be surviving... The island, or surviving the world with dinosaurs in it again. Mm-hmm. I got an idea. The third one is way into the future. Even though this is in the future, we get more into the future. We get a I am legend situation to where <laughs> the dinosaurs have become the zombies and taken over the world. Mm-hmm. Or they're and just we dinosaurs. Have, we have this character played by... Chris Pratt, obviously. Mm. Well, no, <laughs> Chris, Chris, Pratt. Chris Pratt's Pratt. dead by this, this point. We really? got... Who should play in this movie? Jaden Smith. I think Chris Pratt. I was gonna say Tom Holland, but that's kind of the Jayden obvious Smith. Hollywood. Jaden Smith's like, I got I got hooked up with a part in the new Jurassic World <laughs> Jurassic World <laughs> Dominion film. Everybody would come watch it. Would hate much love. it. The vibes. <laughs> <laughs> One love. Everyone would hate it just uh, for that. Now yeah, this I, has a similar vibe to the little piece of. Uh, caramelized honey or whatever that sap was that yeah, they got the the the, um, the amber mosquito out of stuff, yeah yeah do you, you see what I'm saying um I I don't know how I don't know what they're gonna do with this third movie I just they have to deliver something to make up for the other two in my opinion yeah because the other two is not original are they they're gonna born. have um what's his face who played in the first movie not like Jurassic Park, are they gonna bring back uh, what's his um, name? Sam something? Uh, um, d- 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 Hammond. No, the um, guy, who, guy who plays um, the Doctor Grant, the archaeologist. I, I know yeah. who you're talking about. Yeah, the original, Sam. the lead, the lead of the first film. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, but <laughs> and oh, I saw some some trailers done by fan art mm-hmm. by fans, and they had that guy with a beard. Mm-hmm. So maybe maybe they are intending to bring him back. We could easily do a quick cast search and figure out who's going to be in it. Because I, I feel like I feel like a lot of this stuff is bringing back these original characters. Like, that's going to entice us. Like, that's going to make us enjoy the movie mm-hmm, like they did mm-hmm. with Star Wars. and like He the, is back. Sam, Sam Neill. Sam Neill. Yeah. And Chris Pratt's in it. And they have the same red-headed so my, lady. My theory they got is Jeff Goldblum. Um, yeah, who else? Any recognizable uh, faces? She, she plays in the first Okay, movie. Jake Johnson, the guy, Nick on New Girl, he's going to be back. Goldblum. Yep. Um, I don't see Tom Holland, Joshua. No. Oh, but they got this guy, too. He was in He was in Jurassic oh, yeah. World 3, played, or Jurassic uh, Park 3. Let me see. He, yeah. That guy He the played bottom. the dad in... Yeah. Okay. So they're bringing back a whole series of characters for this bit. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like you guys have survived the island before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be well. It's gonna be all of them waking up from nightmares, getting eaten, and they're gonna be like, "That was a bad nightmare." Mm-hmm. But, but reality's glad, glad, worse. Glad I don't have to live <laughs> in that nightmare again. Ah, ah, it's the world. The world's taken over by dinosaurs. But hopefully. but there's gonna be a lot of nice moments where they're like petting a a brachiosaurus or like. A, <laughs> and then T-Rex hops in. <laughs> Actually, T-Rexes are basically good guys at this point. At this point, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody same loves same them. as uh, raptors. Yes. Um, so we're looking forward to it, I think. I think we are. And we might we might not be once we see it. Yeah. It might be terrible. Yeah. But we're always down mm. to try. Of course. Down to try. Down to I'm, try. I'm down. I'm, to I'm down. To, I'm always down to give it a chance. But right? your, your expectations are relatively my high. expectations are low, low? which okay, which means it could it help. could you know it could be good. Good something I don't want to get into it too much. Uh, this because this is swinging way not off Jurassic well, World. Take a swing. Let's see where it goes. Um, next weekend, mm-hmm. Suicide Squad's coming out too. Mm-hmm. Um. The guy who directed Guardians of the Galaxy. James Gunn? Yes. He got fired from Marvel, Marvel for some tweets. I don't know. There was some kind of controversy mm-hmm. there. He went and, and directed, got hired by DC to direct this movie. 
everybody is saying that it's the best DC movie that's come, that's. How do we people, know? No one's seen it yet. People who I've been seeing positive reviews reviews from from you know people who are seeing the movie yeah before it comes out. So now let me ask you this: Are the people I'm, that see I'm the movie curious. <clears throat> are people that see the yeah. movie before it comes out allowed to say it's bad? He or will probably, they get in maybe, big trouble know. because they're probably getting... I don't know that they're allowed to say it's bad, but I think they're allowed to say things like, oh, Suicide Squad under delivers, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but, but I'm interested. But, you know, they, I like they, 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 use words, yeah. they use words like surprisingly this or shockingly that, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. So that when you watch the movie, you're like, oh, yeah, it is kind of, it is surprisingly light. Um, yeah. <laughs> Next... <laughs> Well, I guess at this point, when this comes out, it'll be three days since uh, it mm-hmm. came out. Yes. Um, so you guys may have seen it by that now, but we have not, as of recording this. Um, I'm getting nervous. Knees weak, I arms are heavy. <laughs> yeah, knees weak. Spaghetti. <laughs> knees weak a little. No, um, I just, I was like. So I'm interested for that. Yeah. We'll see. The that. first, I mean, obviously no one really liked the first Suicide Squad or Birds of Prey. Mm. Terrible movies. There yeah. were some, see, and, and here's the problem. The movies have some redeeming qualities. Mm, every Leto. time I watch like a bad movie, I'm like, "Ooh, it's got some redeeming quality, some cool thing." I think the best part of the first Suicide Squad movie is where the the, the lady puts her hand on the table, and then the the witch hand comes up, grabs her hand mm. like this, and flips it over, and she becomes the witch. It's a cool. Th- that cool was a very very cool thing. Yeah, visual um, transformation. And even though the it was cheesy at the end, like the 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 fire dude turns into like an Aztec Wait, god. You got yeah. cheese. I, um, mine was a and, and burger. That that looked extremely cool. The Aztec god form, but it was Are like, we but about there was Suicide Squad or Mummy. Good uh, Suicide Squad. Because <laughs> okay. but there was no character development. For yeah. his care, he's yeah. like, "These are my friends now," and it's like, <laughs> "You were mad at everybody." Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, okay. The thing that took me out of it the most is how much they rely. The same with Zack Snyder's Justice mm-hmm. League. They rely on animation too much. Mm-hmm. I mean, I watch Suicide Squad, and I'm like, well, "You know what? This reminds me of Silver Surfer." Oh yeah, you know great how movie. bad Silver Surfer no, was. Dude, that was so, great. I remember. No, well, it was so animated. It it, it, remember, it took me out every time I saw. You remember him. watching? You remember? I remember watching the first Fantastic Four movie, and yes. every all everything was like so. The the colors and everything were so stimulating and real, and it felt even the even though the animation wasn't like top notch, it you know it felt cool. Yes. Um, and then I remember the second movie, That's, and uh, and Chris. Uh, Captain America. Yeah. Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris yeah. Evans. Chris Evans. 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 And yeah. and then the second movie had like this weird, dark, um, <laughs> almost color correction mm-hmm. where everything felt a little dark, a little muggy, and it just... It didn't fit. It didn't feel right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm just saying I'm not... <laughs> If they if DC continues to do this, they're shooting themselves in the foot and making the hole bigger every movie they put out mm-hmm. where they don't make things look believable. Justice League was a pretty big hole in my mind. They're almost they're almost like I don't you don't like, like your, this analogy. I don't like your whole analogy. <laughs> they're almost trying to find something that works and once they do, they are going to put everything onto that. If if this Suicide Squad movie works, Everything's gonna be like this movie from now on. Mm. That's true. It's kind of like true. us and uh, Twenty One Pilots movies. Yeah, uh, movies, uh, videos. Yeah, everything is Twenty One Pilots from here on. <laughs> 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 Those get the views. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. We're doing. Well, we're putting out a few more. So, uh, what do you guys so, think about Twenty One Pilots? Uh, I love them. I love them. No, got tattoos inspired by them. Yeah. Are we? Uh, yeah. Let's get. Well, you're you're the narrator. So let's introduce, and we'll throw up the slide, and, and you, you you kick us off, Joshua. You got I'm gonna look at this camera for this because <laughs> I feel like that's how I want to do this, like a, like a news anchor. Yes. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Joshua predicts. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Turn around, so you get the back All right, here we go. Ready? Go ahead. Okay. Welcome back. 
welcome back to this week on Wise Words Podcast. We have with us in the studio. Introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Wyatt. And then we also have Joseph Wisner. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> yes. And on today, we are having the debate of a lifetime. The question that everybody has been asking since the beginning of time, since the beginning of comics, since the beginning of entertainment. Mm. We have the question about... <laughs> There's no question. <laughs> Marvel. Is Marvel movie? Wait, what? What do we actually do? Marvel? Just good Marvel. Marvel, or bad. <laughs> Marvel, good or bad? <laughs> Woo! The movies. The Were movies. Were you doing Baker bad. Street? I was doing. <laughs> that the, was Baker Street, probably. <laughs> I just know that's Dave Ramsey's theme song on his show. <laughs> <laughs> um, but today we have with us in this studio we have Once the master again. debaters. <laughs> yes, I just said master debaters. All right, get on we, with it. <laughs> Keep going. The joke we is have, played out. <laughs> <laughs> we have Wyatt giving his opinion on Marvel is the best franchise, the best <laughs> okay. thing of okay. all time. Now you're putting Joseph, more. <laughs> the is argument. going to be arguing, is Marvel worth watching? So okay. See, mine's a lot more <laughs> like, mild. I can like, get there easier. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> Joe's argument, is it worth watching? Wyatt's argument, it's best, the best of greatest. all time. <laughs> no, the, the debate is, is it good or bad? Yes. Okay. okay. So, Marvel debate. I'm going to give you guys your opening statements. First, we're going to start with Joseph. He has to say why Marvel is not worth watching. Don't waste your time. Wyatt the opposing argument, whatever that is. <laughs> okay. So, so, Joseph. Opening statement. Introduce yourself and give us a little bit of your opening statement. Or not a little bit. Give All us right. your opening Here statement. Here we go. My name is Joseph Wisner. I'm a host on the Wise Works podcast, and I make videos on the studio channel about 21 Pilots. Um, I'm happy to be here, and I'm going to be giving my thoughts as to why, as Joshua said, Marvel and the Marvel movies, the franchise, has become unwatchable. My opening statement is, it began strong, and it loses its ability to remain strong along the way. The reasons why I think it's not worth watching is because, very simply, they have stopped caring about the viewer, about the story, and about the characters, and are just in it for the money. That's my opening statement, and this is kind of the basis of why, what I'll be arguing today. <clears throat> <laughs> Knees weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, <laughs> my name is Wyatt Goforth, and I am the resident, um, uh, nerd here, <laughs> uh, Mar Marvel guy, and Today, in this quarter of law, <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be proving why Marvel is good. <laughs> the basis of my argument is that Marvel as a whole has created uh, an intense and fantastical universe with characters that they do care about and. It is about more than making money. And I will be proving these points today. <laughs> that was good. All right, Joshua. Okay. Starting off, Joseph, give us your first argument. And so I'm going to say one thing. Only one thing. No. Counterpoint. I'm Counterpoint. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> okay. Well, the Marvel Universe started off showing us things we have never seen before. Mm -hmm. Truly amazing things. Like the Iron Man suit, for one. That was revolutionary in cinema history. But unfortunately, Marvel has indeed desensitized us, the public, to what is actually cool and intense and amazing in these films. And because of this, they've stopped they have stopped revolutionizing 
the the films, the whole Marvel universe. They stuck with a standard, and then they actually have worked back in some films. If we go back to Black Panther, that entire end fight sequence is all animated. There's nothing real about it, and it's a big disappointment. Now, I will say they go hard on the Avenger films, but those are the only ones that we see. And then I would have to say that the Avenger films are not even focusing on character development. They're actually not giving us good drama. And because of this, I think they've set a standard and have not been able to reach that standard since. In order to progress in the film world and in the storytelling world, you have to innovate. And I believe they have stopped innovating. And I believe that they have desensitized us to what is cool and it just tapers off. Okay, I'm impartial here because I am the except host. except the faces you've been giving me already. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll get into why do, do you, what why it's saying, but I'm gonna I'm gonna counteract this argument right wait, here. Wait, do you want to argue? Do you want this? me to no, counterpoint, or do you want me to give an argument? <laughs> I want to give my thoughts on what he just said <laughs> because he's arguing that Marvel has desensitized us with. They've given us things that are revolutionary, so they've desensitized us. So you're basically saying that Marvel is so great that we have to put everything up against Marvel. Is essentially no. what you just argued for. What, you, you're <laughs> proving my point. Yes, everything does get put up against Marvel. So if Marvel has set because a standard— Because Marvel is so great. If Marvel has set a standard, is what why hear. would you come— down off of that mountain. I'm saying, and I, this is my original so argument. So Marvel is the standard. This is my original is argument. Not. They started really strong and they have not lived up to their own reputation, which means <clears throat> they're not worth watching anymore. Okay. Give them a counter argument. Dude, okay, I'll give, a, I'll give a counter argument <laughs> to that. <clears throat> you get 30 seconds, by the way. What? Exactly. What? <laughs> I feel like you're going <laughs> to go on some, forever on this. I would agree that some movies are hit or miss. Right, I would say I would argue as that far, most far all as, of them are. As far as your point, animation, as far as what they are showing us, these characters can do. Mm -hmm. But even the early films weren't amazing. the The animation has ticked up since then. We, uh, despite seeing what we saw in some of the, you know, in like Black Panther or in some of the other ones, um. The animation has continued to get better and better. And I I would say that, no, it, it hasn't made us desensitized to what we could expect because nobody expected what we saw in Endgame. No one expected what, you know, we saw in, uh, you know, Infinity War in, in those movies. We are anticipating everything they put out. Case in point, we are on our studio channel reacting and reviewing every new I would like to every object. wait. I'm not that I would like every to new, you can't talk right now. You can't <laughs> every nope. new Marvel thing that comes out, everyone is anticipating what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we've gone backwards. In fact, we are moving forward. Okay. Don't hold your thought. I know you want to say something. Hold your thought. Give us your opening argument, Why? Okay. Well, you've, we've already done opening, opening arguments. We've done opening, opening statements. statements. You argument. Gave an argument. He countered it. I countered it. I threw it. in my two cents. <laughs> maybe four cents, but... All right. Despite what we see on film, mm. despite the animation and stuff that is getting better and better compared to what we saw even in... Uh, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies and in Blade and in a lot of these older Marvel movies, Marvel from, from the comics and stuff, what Marvel Entertainment is doing is bringing to life characters and heroes that people... Marvel Studios. Marvel right Studios, yeah. Correction. Have, have, they're bringing to life what people have been reading about for decades and they are doing it well they're doing it well let's be honest that compared to the movie the silver surfer fantastic four movie right where where you know we were talking about animation and stuff and and what we were seeing aside from those movies look at all these characters that we've gotten to see for the past you know 10 years 
on screen characters that people have been reading about characters that people have been trying to imagine what it would look like if these were to fight each other and to fight villains and we're getting to see that and we're getting to see it in an amazing amazing fashion and while some of the animation doesn't hit in some of the movies overall they're doing a pretty fantastic job so your argument here is Despite the old 90s Marvel movies that don't have great animation, the animation is good, and we're getting what we want. That's your argument? No. That's basically what he's no, saying. You're, no, you're... No, no that's basically you what you're are, saying. No, no, no. no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> wait you're, you're making stuff up. <laughs> you are thinking about what you are hearing and then making up. My argument... No, questioning my what you argument said. is that they are... Uh, they are bringing to life all of these heroes very well by animating them not just by animating them by everything they're doing in these movies i feel like you i'm not talking about anim- on the animation a long time my guy we're talking about characters we are seeing these characters mm. animation is part of being able to so see you're them. saying that we're seeing hulk as a live action human being we're seeing yeah yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. You look at look at the you look at Hulk in the Avengers movies and and when they get close up on his face and tell me that pff, that doesn't look basically real. Uh basically is not real, my guy. You're a counter argument <laughs> to this. My counter argument is we can go back and forth on the animation mm. subject all day long. I will say this to support Wyatt here against our our uh impartial impartial <laughs> judge host. here um yes they do a lot of work on characters like the hulk they do i agree i will say this if we go back to my original thought mm-hmm. Marvel started really strong because there's a lot of bright-eyed and bushy-tailed creators that are mm-hmm. like, we are going to make a great Marvel movie. After a great Marvel movie was created. You gotta stop looking at me like that. Are you getting nervous, my guy? I'm no, not it's because you're, you. you're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> or you're going like, he's so <laughs> impartial. Oh, what do you say, what do you idiot? <laughs> After they made a great film, they wanted to capitalize on it. I understand you need money to continue making something amazing. But at some point, and I am willing to argue Mm -hmm. that it was around the time of completing the first Avengers film, Mm -hmm. that they really stopped caring about innovation. Now, there's an argument about the whole Guardians of the Galaxies. I know that's your favorite. That maybe there's a little bit more innovation there. Maybe Mm -hmm. there's a little bit more fun aspects of it there. But... Even in Guardians of the Galaxies, I know it's a part of the franchise, but they've opened a world that is unbelievable. For example, I really enjoyed the hero world up until the Avengers film. And I I enjoyed Avengers. And then they opened up the multiverse. And then in the last one, they opened up the time travel thing. And although that can lead to some exciting ideas i don't think that's going to lead ultimately to exciting stories the reason why so go ahead go ahead yeah yeah. finish up finish up it's going to not lead to exciting stories Mm -hmm. because of the very nature of evolution Mm -hmm. there's ultimately no stakes when you can time travel there's ultimately no stakes like we're going to see in Spider-Man, if there's multiple versions of Spider-Man out in the universe and you have access to those, it becomes unbelievable. And in fact, making so many characters Mm -hmm. with powers is no longer heroes. Now it's just mutants like from the X-Men. So, so what you're saying, so what you're saying is now we have to uh, imagine a world where, these people are basically normal? I'm not saying normal. I'm saying that bringing them into a universe, where are you going to get? They've already used Mm -hmm. and defeated the comic's biggest villain. Nope, not the biggest villain. All right. Well, I have yet to see the biggest villain then. One of the, I mean, did you watch Loki? I did. They introduced another one of the biggest villains in Loki. I'm aware. We'll get to that. Yeah. 
we'll get to that. So I have a point uh, under possible Joe points here that says not grounded, which is essentially what you were saying. It, it's become not it's become grounded. not grounded, it's and become... it opens the world to be what we're seeing in the latest films. Just shifting in one film, Tony Stark's. Tony Stark, of all characters, discovers time travel mm -hmm. that quick. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he now that he's discovered the formula, he knows how to utilize it. And then there's characters like Ant-Man, which I know they made a movie for him. And then they've, you know, they put him in the universe and they're just shoving him in there. Like, I don't think that they belong. And I think a lot of the characters on this screen are just shoved in there without proper development of who they are. As the movies go on, their characters develop, though. We've seen their... You so you, you said, can't put you enough wait, screen so said, time for these characters in a movie that's about all of these characters. So you said, so you said they, they've stopped focusing on one movie. They've stopped focusing on making the movie good. They've it's, all, it's about money at this point. No, they've transitioned. It's about the universe of characters. It's about all of them and what makes them heroes. Essentially, actually, hold on. I want to get to this not grounded thing. When you say not grounded, when you say that the movies are becoming unbelievable, that's movies. Movies don't exist in reality. They exist outside of reality. Even movies that are based in our reality reality mm -hmm. dramas and and things are essentially their own reality mm -hmm. where different things happen mm -hmm. where the story takes place no movie is actually grounded i but the so it's a part of actual storytelling development within the first 10 minutes of a film the audience comes into a story mm -hmm. with an open mind what you what foundation you lay in the first 10 20 minutes of a film mm -hmm is the setup it is what you're telling the audience is believable and what they should expect from here on out yeah it's impossible to do that with a franchise like this and because of that it has become more and more and more unbelievable and we've already grounded ourselves way back in the first 20 minutes of iron man it is real life but real military but and then there is like incredible invention to people but people keep reading these comics where they're where they're seeing unbelievable un, unthinkable things happen wait it's not that we can't comprehend what's about what's happening it's just that it's crazy to see and people want to see crazy but that's exactly what I i'm wanna, saying i don't think crazy is good storytelling i want to argue what you just said right there so back on iron man one we grounded ourselves with reality yes then they came out with this movie called, I'm pretty sure it was the third Iron Man. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Half the movie was about Tony Stark losing, better words, losing him, losing his boop out uh, because he went into the black hole and realized this is not just Earth. This yeah. is, there's so much more than that. We had a whole half a uh, whole movie where the guy who is grounded in reality took himself out of reality because he realized this is way bigger than just Earth. Yeah, these characters are also realizing that there's so much more out there and are having to cope with it. Yeah. Do you not remember Iron Man losing it for half of the I, third movie? My argument was for story development. That's an actual formatted thing, and they're not following that format with this franchise. And so, therefore, it's not good storytelling. So you, what, so you're arguing storytelling. For, okay, so you're arguing for Stan Lee's story comics more than the movies, is what you're arguing for? No, because Stan Lee's comics, a comic story is is much different mm -hmm. than these film franchises. But these movies are based off the stories that Stan Lee has put in the, in comics, the comics, which is the story wrote by Stan Lee. All right, you're arguing for the story. Stan Lee's comics, not this is, Marvel movies. We, I was going to get into this later, but I'll bring it up. Mm -hmm. I believe, and we've had discussions, but I'm going to introduce it now. I believe that what is starting to take place is going to be a better format for representing the comics. A series focusing on characters or a small number of characters to develop their story so we have actual grounding of 
their personalities, of what they like, what they dislike, emotional struggles they go through, and then we actually are able to enter films like this. They've done it in reverse. They're trying to retell stories that they didn't explain in the films, and therefore, most of all of these characters, except for maybe Iron Man, Captain America, which ultimately Iron Man is the lead of every single movie, mm -hmm. every single Marvel film, whether he's in it or not, he's the main character. I he, disagree. He pushes, he's dead. The, he pushes the universe forward. He's, it started with him, <clears throat> and the biggest Marvel movie up to this point, he is the one who sacrifices himself yeah. for the universe. So um, hmm. I agree with you as far as the TV series goes. I believe in long-form storytelling. I believe up to this point they've been telling the story much like a comic book. I we disagree. Get, yeah, nope. A comic book will represent more of what a series looks like, focusing on one character at a time. And then in the comics for the Avengers and stuff, there was already so much work done. They're doing it in reverse. They're trying to tell these character stories to hurry up and get to the money. But we're seeing it. You, 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 keep, saying, you keep saying the money. The money is what is needed to create these movies. So why didn't it? They, they've, they've, they've threw away. That's what I'm saying halfway a little bit a little bit less than halfway through all of these movies they kind of threw away the art of telling a character's story well to get to what has now become the highest grossing film of all time mm -hmm. well not next to did they beat avatar and titanic didn't they i i don't know the exact numbers i don't want to quote anything so it's not true i i would say that every movie you, whether whether the animation is good, whether you think the villain is good or not, whether you know whatever, it has contributed to each character's development. Every character has gone through a story arc. Every single one of them. We've seen pain and loss from every character. But, but very brief. It is no, not enough I'll, to become invested. It, it's plenty to become invested. Not at all. All you need to become invested, and we've talked about this before, is sufficient, uh, just enough emotion to care about the character. And that can happen in a flashback. Yes, all they it have has to, to be they, a good they, flashback. They could show, a, a movie could show me a flashback and make me care about a character. And they've given us way more than flashbacks. <laughs> Well, not for every character, for no. Every character. No, not yes, for every character, no. All right. Every character has, ha, they have contributed something to make them feel like they have emotion, except for maybe Captain Marvel. But it has taken so much Captain time. Captain Marvel, no. Well, you bring up Captain Marvel. <laughs> On my notes, I just have Captain Marvel dot, dot, dot. I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I agree. Hold on one second. What the heck is this character who is so powerful? Could have defeat Thanos really easily. It's um, and she was too busy. Woke I, culture wish fulfillment. She I was too like, busy. Like the half of the universe's sacrifice. She was too busy to come help them. There's a big universe out there, and not all of them. She says in the movie, not all of them have the Avengers. So she's out helping other people. Oh, okay. but what's the point of even bringing her up? Yeah, I I understand. Okay, I feel Which like is what Captain Marvel is what the, everything in these films since the first Avengers has led to. It becomes an unbelievable, <laughs> ridiculous <off> story. <laughs> <laughs> an unbelievable, ridiculous story with too much going on. Mm. I understand you can tell a good story with a lot of characters. Mm. They have not done that effectively. They might be trying to redeem themselves oh, wait, with series. On. I have a point here that says plot holes. I, I just took off my tie and put it around my head. To you guys are agreeing at this point. You guys no, are not supposed not. to be we're, agreeing. We're still disagreeing. You just said you agreed with his Captain well, you're Marvel arguing theorem. With us more than we're arguing <laughs> with each other. Um, hold on. You both are basically going in the same direction, okay, so saying it, that TV shows are no, 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 a better way. I tried. Of, no, no, I was no, saying we agreed that on was hopefully one that one's going to be my ending point, and now I'm saying because you so, started bringing arguments so, to the table that I had to counter it. So, so again, you plot holes. This is a big series. Absolutely. It's massive. Yes. It's bigger than anything else we've ever seen. Correct. Um, and I do I, believe I it is down, a fad. They, they have I do created believe it is a the fad. largest movie extended universe slash crossover ever seen. It's not a fad. But no, what started it? The they very did. good first films. They started it. They started it's, it. No, no, no. It's not. I'm not arguing it's, for. It's only a fad um, if you are copying somebody else. 
it's not a fad for them. They started this, and they are continuing it. Anybody who tries to copy it is are doing the fad. I would actually argue maybe Tobey Maguire started this superhero phase. I don't think Tobey Maguire started a crossover superhero movie. No. No, we didn't see any other Marvel superheroes in any. I of think the we Tobey should Maguire we should movies. we should hold up and kind of get our bearings. I feel like we're going in a bunch of different directions. Yeah. TV shows, what started it, what this and that. I'm gonna put a halt on this, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna jump out of it because uh, I feel like you guys are arguing for the same thing. But we're I'm not, not. You're not listening. listening. I'm not. <laughs> we are not, not arguing listening. for not, the same thing. I'm not in in on okay. this. Okay, um, no, I'm. You got to hold up right now because uh what, what are your points i'm not giving any points i'm just gonna say Stream. okay i'm gonna put a halt on this okay i feel like you want you have a point you want to get to and you have another point that's in a mm. different thing to argue your that's stuff. the point of debates <clears throat> no it's it's going in the same direction and i feel like it's not going um, in the same direction he's still trying to prove that it's not a good that they're not good movies okay there's a lot of points who I, I'm lost at this point. Who was the last one who gave their their state opening statement? I, you were kind of giving I your. I think own. I was given an argument when we stopped, and I countered it. Okay, well then well, give your second argument because yeah, give another. Yeah, you give another argument. Argument, and we'll get back on track. I feel like we've lost track. Well, it's hard for me to give an argument when we we were cut off mm-hmm. so rudely. Yeah. yeah. We were in the middle here. of a in the middle of <laughs> that guy, a point Steve. is trying to make. Ultimately, I think the whole franchise is about Tony Stark. I think it is. It's about the universe, but there's not enough given to the universe to really focus. The only character, and I've pointed this out on past podcasts, mm-hmm. that they've given sufficient time to develop a character as complex as maybe a normal human might be is Tony Stark. Okay, what about uh what about Black Widow or Hawkeye? But they they still they have not even they have not even come close to the amount of screen time and character development as they have for Tony Stark. And and yet we care about their characters. Not truly. We've seen we've seen their families, we've seen their past, we've seen their connection, we've seen their willingness to fight. We don't care about them nearly as much as Tony Stark. What about uh let me see. What what about Bucky? Bucky's been oh, through absolutely a lot. not. We do not care about Bucky as much as Bucky Tony Stark. has. Bucky has been through so much. We don't even care about <laughs> Bucky as much as we care about Captain America. And Captain America is one of the least developed characters, as I've argued in the past, than any character. Okay, now he stays the exact same I, the whole I time. In, I have in my well, points. It's Captain America. Dot dot dot. <laughs> 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 you had Captain America. Got Captain America. Um, Captain America is a lifeline character what it means that just because your character doesn't change as far as what they believe doesn't mean that they're a bad character he because he he started here and he it remains here for other characters to be able to latch on to exactly so doesn't that just make him a supporting character it, exactly. It makes him a lifeline character. Yet he has his own films, multiple. He's, and he has always been a lifeline character. Mm. And that's not good storytelling. It is good storytelling. It is a not. A character that pushes others forward in a different way than Tony Stark does. But he doesn't push anyone forward. In fact, actually, everyone disagrees with him and does almost the opposite of what, they want, Tony, what he wants them here, to do. Here's the thing. He's not a true captain. Cap- captain America pushes other characters forward. Tony Stark, all of every everything about Tony Stark is about his character. Mm. Everything about Captain America is about other characters, other people. That's what he cares about, and it's because of him that uh, uh, Tony does eventually uh, um, put his life on the line and saves everyone. I I believe firmly it's because of Captain America's example. So what we're debating about right here is Marvel good or is this worth watching, whatever you say the argument is. And you're saying Captain America is your argument for why you should watch Marvel? We're debating uh, pros and cons of the series as proof of why you should watch it. 
Do you truly believe so that the storytelling... you're saying that Captain America is the reason you should watch it? No, I'm saying the storytelling is the reason you should watch it. Do you honestly believe that the storytelling mm -hmm. of the recent 10 films mm -hmm. of anything in the Marvel Universe films yes. is as good of storytelling as they've shown in some of Iron Man's films or the ones where he actually progresses as his character? Uh, that is incorrect. That is I, incorrect. Uh, again, I would like to go back to my thing, my original comment, which was that every movie has contributed something to the universe. Yes, something, because that's necessary. But it has it not become lazy? They're trying no. to introduce characters to shove them into a big finale where they will make a lot of money. Okay. They, now, look at how many characters on the screen. Can you honestly tell me all of these characters have been well developed? I'm not saying you can't have this many characters. I am saying they have done it incorrectly, sir. The only ones we care about are the biggest ones on screen. We don't even care about him too much. What, Black Panther? We don't. Um, a lot of people do. Yeah, a no. lot of people do, my guy. But from the storytelling you, perspective, you this was you. Did you go to opening weekend to go see Joshua? Black? I was there. Do Black not make weekend. this. Do not make this. Opening, well, <laughs> opening weekend. You were there Black Weekend. <laughs> opening weekend is black what weekend. I Wow. Wow, Josh. Wow, Josh. Josh. wow. wow. and whatnot. Panther. And you had black people on the brain, didn't you? No, I said wow. Black Panther was on the brain. I was there opening weekend for Black Panther is what I meant to say. Black Weekend. <laughs> okay. Um, we do not have enough of his story, which, by the way, rest in peace. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's going to be really hard to develop uh, uh, this character. Again. I'm simply saying we don't care about nearly, like, this guy popped up. I did not give a, I did not give a crap. I liked him better as Jarvis than uh, Vision. Much and, better. And, and yet, then WandaVision came along, <clears throat> and I was like, okay, I'm starting to get it. He's changed across everything he's been in. He has become a new character from every time we, we've seen him. Every time a character is on screen, new things happen. They become a better or worse character. Every time that uh, we see we see Thor, a Thor, I would argue is he's not even on here. Yeah, he is, is he? he's over there. He's not a de well developed character at all. They started pretty okay at the beginning, Thor, and then okay. he fell off. Thor the lost face his powers, and then and then proved himself worthy again and became Thor. Right. And well, then, what has he been doing? Like he's played he, in so many weird parts, in and the then he's movies. been he's been he's been fight. He, he's got a big universe to take care of too. It, all of Ictrasil, right? And then he lost his mother, mm -hmm. and then he lost his brother, which so did Loki. And then he lost his father, mm -hmm. and then he lost his brother again, <laughs> and then he lost his entire world, mm -hmm. and then he actually truly lost his brother, and then he lost his mind. If that's not character development, I don't know what is. He didn't believe in himself in Endgame. He didn't believe in being a hero. But then we also think about this. Is it mere worthiness that you are able to wield the the hammer? It is. Or should there be, because then anybody could pick up the hammer, which as we saw randomly out of nowhere, Captain America's like randomly. I'm, I'm worthy as crap. Randomly, randomly. If Captain America hasn't proved that he is the only other worthy character no, to he, wield, he was so his much more worthy. Wield the character, the hammer. Hmm? Someone else wielded the hammer besides Thanos. Captain America. Thanos. No, Thanos did not Ooh. wield it. Um. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. His uh, character. Um. Um. Whatever. Vision. 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 Yeah. No. No. Th that's that's canonically correct. Vision could wield the hammer. Uh, Captain America could wield the hammer. But what? What? Why even make films about Thor if it's going to end with? Well, now if you're just worthy, it's there's not nothing extra he has that it's like. Well, this is my hammer. As long as I stay worthy, I can keep wielding it. But it's my hammer. Now it's like Captain America's it, no, hammer. The, now it's the, Vision's the point, hammer. The point isn't the hammer. The point is who's wielding it. A hero. And hold on. In, in so my why did why was Tony Stark not wielding the dang thing? Tony Stark is mere human. Hold on. <laughs> I have notes. Okay, I put. All of these movies, every single one of them, is about sacrifice. 
Yeah, that gets really boring mm. real fast. Sacrifice is what it takes to be a superhero. Because we actually didn't see real stakes of sacrifice until we got to some of the stuff Thanos did. And then even then, we got everyone back. Who'd we lose? Black I, Widow? I think Wait, the, I, okay. I, I have a. I have what's, something the, what's the green girl's name? Gamora. Gamora? We I lost them point. too? Who have else have we lost? We lost I have a Iron point Man? I'm leading to. All right. Yeah. I'm not talking about just physically dying. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about sacrificing other things. What is Spider Man sacrifice? His high school reputation. Mm-hmm. So uh, a, a, a normal life. <laughs> okay. Being a kid, you know what is what is uh, 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 Hawkeye sacrifice? Being with his family, mm-hmm. right? Not being put in danger. What is? Uh, uh, I mean, we saw what what Captain America sacrificed. Everything. He sacrificed. He sacri- he, he he wanted to help people so much that he sacri- He put his body on the line. He he put you know his life on the line. He crashed a plane into ice. You know he has continuously fought stronger opponents so that others can be safe. Tony Stark sacrificed his entire company in the first movie. Can I make a, a bridge right here because I feel like. I want to just kind of lay out what you guys are arguing a little bit. So story, that's what you were arguing for. This development mm-hmm. of characters. I'm saying the development going through, of the story. Okay, story and characters. It's that's become not, with story. not worth watching. Up until uh, what we're arguing, why it's arguing for, is worthiness. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. So the story... Of sacrificing yourself for to be the hero, essentially. What it means to be with a hero. great power comes great exactly. responsibility. That's that's every every hero is having to give something else up to protect others, and they don't have to. That's what it means to be a hero. You're saying you're saying that these movies have you know. They, they they have no heart. They have no content. I didn't say they have no heart, but I would. I, I the thing is, the content and the heart is not true because many a Marvel film has made me weep. Mm-hmm. I'm merely saying the actual creators of this franchise at to this point have been pumping out these films to try to reach an end that is unreachable unreachable not, at this current they're trying, time they're not trying to reach an end they're trying to reach an, that dollar sign. an audience well they already have the audience they are reaching the audience they're trying to put this in front of you they're trying to give people what they want which is the unbelievable okay I and feel I like would say they're doing it we're, including we're, time travel you can't deny that was a rough story development for the whole time travel we're thing. arguing here and there at this point that's a flying robot that can pass through things wait I did, did, I, I don't he's also basically travel? a god I, okay it, who gets killed in one of the movies let's I'll give you like and okay. a robot I'm gonna give I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock this mm-hmm. is what we're gonna do I'm gonna give 30 seconds to you you're not gonna counter it you're gonna give your 30 <clears> seconds <throat> He's not going to counter it. Okay. Ending statements, your biggest points of what you were arguing and why and has to tie down to what you're arguing for. Okay? That's what we're about to do. Mm. Okay. Are you ready, Joseph? Yes. Ready? 30 seconds on the clock. Go. Ultimately... I think the creators of this universe have gotten very lazy. And I would say there is a way to redeem this. And I believe you might be on the right path, but I want to implore anyone who watches and supports this franchise to do three things. Do not accept what we have seen in the last 10 movies, including the fact that there are almost no consequences for most of the characters and the fact that we feel like we don't know most of these characters, although they are getting screen time. The first thing... I said 30 seconds. The first thing I would like to... Give me more time. I'll give you 10 more seconds. I, this is not 10 seconds. Give me another 30. No! I give said me another 30. 30. Give me another 30. The first thing I would like you... I would implore you to start expecting is force Marvel to... Don't stop innovating for cinema. Cinema needs to be innovative. 
Stop adding big ideas that are that we don't need. We need to understand these characters and also do not seconds. mess up the series. Don't mess up the series focusing on the characters. We need to get this character development in place before you continue making big films like we've seen. Okay. So, okay. I gave him a minute. I'll give you a minute. Um, I had a call to action. Ready? Which was rudely interrupted. Well, because you went over time and then... You can't give a final argument in 30 seconds. Ready? A minute, go. Okay. Marvel has shaped... This universe has shaped the way that we think about entertainment forever. All of it. For the rest of time. They have changed the way that we watch movies. And they've changed the way that we think about characters. Yes, they are still evolving. And yes, we need to force them to do better things with the characters but as it stands people enjoy what we're seeing there have been amazing stories throughout this universe and to say that you know the universe is bad as a whole it is devaluing all the work and time and thought that hundreds and thousands of people have put into these projects to try to create something that we can all enjoy minute <laughs> be honest though it the whole the whole time travel thing is hokey right they're superheroes it's all hokey <laughs> no, I, they, they they made superheroes believable not time travel and then they shoved it in so that it could fit the story you keep saying believable it's not believable <laughs> no they're superheroes okay hey, it's not believable in i real feel life. like we're going back into an <laughs> argument here that i'm just saying we're trying to you Ooh, you set a groundwork for what you what is believable in mm -hmm. an unbelievable story. Every film does this, mm -hmm. and then when you break that real quick and without cause, except to do, except to tell a story you're trying to tell, mm -hmm. is not good story. Time. They're not trying to tell a believable story. They're trying to tell a story about superheroes. But also the the time travel thing was out of left field. We haven't seen that in any other film except for the one that it was important to have time travel. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, like a deus ex machina type thing, right, where they, they pull a point from somewhere else to give the characters the ability to do something. But it still, you know, pushed the story forward. It pushed the characters forward. I have a lot of thoughts on both of what you're saying for good, for bad, but I don't want to argue with them because mm. uh, you guys already gave arguments. We could talk about this forever. Um, what did you guys think about who won? Uh, I'm talking <laughs> to the audience right now. Who won? Who lost? Who did what? We, we need engagement on this because this is the yeah. biggest debate. They are the master debaters right here. <laughs> I don't think we're very masterful at this debate. I, th I think we just have a lot of thoughts and a lot of points. A lot of them I didn't even get to. Oh, I didn't either. Um, I, I wanted to get into a lot more detail with my points. I had one that says uh, jokes in the movies don't land. I thought you were going to bring up the jokes and the dialogue. And oh, no. I, this, um, and I put, uh, to counteract that point, I said, neither do yours. <laughs> 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 uh, I thought you were going to talk about... Um, nice way to preemptively you know shame me i had a big point about when you like no substance big picture i had this i had this grand art illustration that you know every movie is a brush stroke right yeah. if you're looking at the brush stroke up close there's it's it's not much it's just a stroke and then if you pull back and look at the entire universe it's this beautiful collage i have a whole theory on that but I wouldn't call it a beautiful I, collage. I, I would say it looks uh, like a stick figure. I disagree with that statement, but I'm not part of this debate. So who do you th who do you think won on this? Uh, we're 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 not going into your sub points because I know you have like a bunch that you wanted to get to, but you didn't get to. So we're not going to do that. We'd be here for five hours, my guy, unless you want to be here for five hours. No. Um. <laughs> so comment down below is what I was gonna say because we need engagement on this. This is the biggest argument. <laughs> for our generation <laughs> and for past generations and for all the generations all the generations and why don't the biggest if, if you have a youtube channel or anything like that why don't you go ahead and have a marvel debate mm -hmm. i would love to see other people doing the mm -hmm. same yeah i i mean i've i've seen a lot of people talking about it um 
lot of people giving their thoughts, uh, which we would like for you guys to do in the comments, um, you know, on our, on our social medias. Comment what you think. I want to know why you like it, why you don't like it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and if you want to get specific to, to movies – in the franchise, mm-hmm. what be welcome to it? W- it kind of felt like a mess because it's hard for us to. We're talking about the Marvel universe, yeah. So we can't like say what's wrong with this specific movie, right? Because we're talking about so much. So it just kind of felt, yeah, scattered. There's, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of content that they, you know, has inter- been entertaining people for <laughs> almost twelve years now. So, <laughs> well, more than that, if we talk about the comics, but. Um, that has been observed I, by let's, many people. Let's uh, throw up the slide. I know what you want to throw up. Entertaining people. Um, pretty soon we're going to get the 200th episode. So be looking for that. Yes. Two weeks. Not next week. The week after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a couple more midnights. A couple more uh, main episodes. Yes. And then we're going to get 200. 200. Of, of us doing the podcast. Not not what what well, hold episode on now. Don't just, did Wyatt come don't into? Don't just push. I don't know. I don't you don't know. have to pay attention uh, probably to Probably like. I want. I want to say. I want to say like around one forty. Okay. Well, I will. I remember. Yeah. I remember editing a little bit of like one fifty, one fifty four. Yeah. So I want to say around one forty, and even earlier that with that with um, midnight specials. Yeah, but we've got you know two hundred videos that are out there for you guys to be entertained by. Yeah, that's a we lot called, of content. We called them on. Didn't we call we called yeah. you yeah, for the one hundred for the one hundredth episode? They were doing the midnight by then, but not the main. Yeah, but the midnight still right as midnight podcast every Friday night on midnight Spotify, special. Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, mm-hmm. um, Google iHeartRadio, Google Podcast, all of the podcast yeah. spaces. Um, and leave a five star and a review on Apple Podcast. Mm-hmm. We would really appreciate it. Uh, that's a place where people are allowed to give feedback on some of these platforms. And so if you listen and, there. And, and much like Marvel, we put out a lot of content. Not all of it's good. Not, you know, <laughs> not, you know and a no, lot of it is good. and a lot of it is great. But there's this like overarching just story about us, about our characters. That's just it's truly it's endearing. Yeah. I would say we have more development than Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> not I mean, me. No. We, we've talked. No, any... Josh has kind of remained the same. <laughs> We've talked about anything Josh's from America. farts to love life. Everything. On the midnight. That was the same episode. <laughs> <laughs> that was the same that episode. That was the same episode. <laughs> so we've well, talked we about talked about love life. You don't like to talk about that. Joshua falls silent. Yeah. Joshua falls silent Thanks for, often. Thanks if, for it, yeah, if you're, if you're excited about that stuff, go check it out. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And All you guys, gals, geeks, and goofballs. And join us next week on the podcast. Or join us Friday night, <laughs> Monday, Saturday morning. This podcast is felt like we've been just good trying night. to say good our Good day thoughts. and good. have a good life. <laughs> <laughs>